Kia ora tamariki. Story time today is a book called Rory the Dinosaur, Me and My Dad. Well, you all know by now that my boy's called Rory. One of them anyway. Blake, he's yet to make an appearance. But Rory, six-year-old Rory, would like to read this book to you, all right? So, here he goes. Me and my dad. This is Rory. Rory lives on an island with his dad. He has a lot of energy, sometimes too much. Mm, that sounds like my Rory. Rory's dad is really fun. Sometimes he takes Rory fishing. Or to look for seashells. Mm, Rory's dad sounds like me. Lots of fun. <laughs> Rory's dad also loves to read. I fixed your books all by myself, but Rory thinks his dad's books are boring. Now Rory's dad needs some quiet time. Do not distract. Everything is quiet. Too quiet. But Rory doesn't want to disturb his dad. Maybe I'll go on an adventure all by myself. Stuff to pack, shark, toothbrush, yo-yo, jelly beans. So Rory makes his favourite sandwich, peanut butter and chocolate chip, and packs a few of his favourite things. Sounds like Rory's favourite sandwich. Soon he, he is on his way to find an adventure all by himself. I'm running away all by myself. Rory walks and walks until he gets to a river, but he isn't allowed to swim without his dad. What am I going to do? I wonder what solution he'll come up with. Rory looks around for a way to cross. Luckily, he notices some rocks he can use as steps. I can cross all by myself. Rory walks some more and stops when he reaches the jungle. Suddenly he sees a wild pig running right toward him. Rory is scared of wild pigs but he wants to be brave. He lets out a big roar. Roar! Roar! And frightens the pig away. I scared it all by myself. After so much walking, it's time for lunch. But Rory forgot his coconut water. Oh man, Dad usually packs my drink for me. Just as Rory considers skipping lunch, after all, a peanut butter and chocolate chip sandwich just isn't the same without a drink. A coconut falls from the tree above him and breaks in half. I found something to drink all by myself. How resourceful. After lunch, it begins to rain. Rory looks everywhere for shelter, but he can't find anything to keep him dry. Suddenly the rain stops where he's standing. I found a dry spot all by myself. The storm passes and the sun comes out. A magnificent rainbow stretches across the sky. Oh, look at all the colours of the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. Rory loves rainbows. His dad always helps him find one after a storm. Dad, look, I found a rainbow all by myself. But then Rory remembers his dad isn't there. He's all the way back at home. So Rory decides to run back and get him. Look at him going all the way, past the coconut, the rainbow, past the wild pig, over those rocks again, and back home to Dad. Rory tells his dad all about his journey, but I'll wait a while before I leave home again. Rory says, I don't want you to miss me too much. That sounds like a good plan, says Rory's dad. Together, they head back to the treehouse and dream of new adventures. Wow, what an awesome book.
Thanks for reading that to us, Rory. Now, tomorrow's Wednesday. We'll go have a little surprise for you. Someone else will be reading a book tomorrow. I wonder who it might be. Kakite.